Normal probability calculations in main. Uh, we'll start in the main application. We're in standard real degree settings down the bottom. Now normal distributions or all probability distributions live under the interactive distribution and then there's either continuous, discrete or working them backwards. Uh, the discrete ones and the inverse functions. Now so the one we're after today is the norm CDF. So here it is and when we uh, release the mass then we've got the template ready to go. So the first problem is what's the probability that uh, the x lies between 60. Now I enter 60 and then I'm going to tap execute which automatically jumps the cursor into the next box so you don't have to repeatedly be typing numbers and tapping back up here. So 75 is the upper value. You notice that the information changes at the bottom uh, as we go through the boxes, lower boundary, upper boundary, population standard deviation mean. Now, where do we get to? Standard deviation is 12 and tap execute, enter the mean as 65. Now, remember two executes, tap, tap here would be the same as tapping on OK here. And the probability is evaluated. Um, if it's a one-way, one-sided um, probability rather than an interval like that one. So the next one we were going to look at is the probability x is greater than or equal to 60. So here we go again. Distribution, continuous, norm CDF. The lower, because it's going to be greater than or equal to 60, is 60 this time. And I tap execute. Now the upper is infinity. You will find that on the Math 2 menu over here. Here's infinity tap execute uh, standard deviation is still 12 tap execute the mean is still 65 and once twice and our probabilities calculated and the same works if it's a left tail so here we go for the last example we've got uh, a continuous norm cdf and this time the lower is negative infinity so we'll start off with a negative sign go to math 2 and find the negative infinity uh, next is 75 for the upper, tap execute, 12 for the standard deviation, tap execute and 65, execute, execute and our probability is evaluated. Um, you can also calculate these probabilities and there are some other videos explaining this in statistics using the calc distribution. Uh, if I tap help you can find the norm CD here. And also, if you head off into any activity, here's one in a solve strip where uh, I've got that basic formula, the norm CDF at lower upper standard deviation mean. Having it here enables you to solve not only for a probability or an inverse probability, lower or upper, but also for standard deviation and mean.